All right. We are now talking about standard controllers. So it's a standard, like a standard object. Remember, standard object and custom object. We also have standard controllers and then later on custom controllers. So what is a standard controller? What is a controller? A controller, blah, 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 blah. a controller is what I see as an engine. So the visual force itself, it's like the shell, what you see, right? What you see. An engine or maybe a spirit, you know? The visual force is your body and the controller who controls your body is the spirit. You know, control is a spirit. Hmm, it's a good analogy. I like it. Or an engine if you're more into mechanical things. If it's a car, the controller is the car body, the, the, the outside that you see, the, the chairs, the dashboard, those are the bodies and the controller are the engine, so to speak. So if you have a visual force, you see a nice view, right? For example, this is this can be a visual force, but if there is no engine, there is no spirit, there is no controller, you click on stuff, nothing happens. It's just like a, a picture. Boop, 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 boop. You click, 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 click. Nothing is happening because there is no controller. There is nothing controlling this, what you see. You can buy a body of a car if there is no engine, it's useless. So this is useless if there is no controller. So control is what make things move, what make things change, update records, insert records, change records, do whatever you want. So an MVC, mod, like this is a model, view and controller. The model is the database, the records, that's the model. The view is the visual force page and the C is the controller, is the Apex code that um, we can write or we can just use which Salesforce has already provide, all right? So visual force is the view, you can uh, make it pretty, but if there is no controller, it's doing pretty much nothing, okay? That's the gist of it, the, the essence of it. So the control is the spirit which controls your body. It has ownership. Okay, let's move on before we get to spiritual. <laughs> okay, uh, let's create a new visual force page. You will see how it all plays out in about a few minutes. I'm going to create a new page account summary. And before I'm going to pop up my hands on org here and pop up Oop, whoa that doesn't look good does it oh i'm not logged in yet oh there we go okay a few glitches and click on here i'm going to create a new visual force page to display some account record details okay so developer console And I'm going to close what we have before here. Close, close, close. Make a new one. And it's Visual Force page account summary. All right. Okay. So we have a blank shell. Flip back to our trail here. And I'm going to copy what we have here. It's pretty much just a view, right? We haven't set standard controller equals account. When we add that, we add a spirit or the engine, the engine of account, the account engine. Boom. This is just the view. This is just the body now. See, if we preview this guy, it's just a view, right? Whatever you put here is just a view. It's doing and just displaying stuff. It can't change stuff. It can't move. It doesn't have a spirit. It doesn't move. Okay. So now let's move on. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, okay, let's see. For example, we can display an account record on there. So let's bring this um, a little bit more interesting. If I flip back to my trailhead, now 
Oh, this guy. Let's go to accounts, all right? I'm going to go to my accounts, grab some accounts. Accounts there. And not the recently viewed. There's a lot of people asking me, uh, guys, if you see, oh, blank. Blankety blank? What happened? I just imported a ton of data because you're on the recently view. It's always there, change all accounts. Then you see some, some stuff there. Let's see this Burlington Textile Corps of America. I click on that and we're gonna grab the account ID there. All right. So I'm gonna copy that and what is my example? The other one? Oh, this one. So and I add this and this is on the trailhead, okay? ID equals the record ID. The record ID of the account. Now I'm gonna hit enter. It's gonna be the same because we haven't changed the code, but I just pasted here the ID of the Burlington Texas Corp of America record from here, from the URL, okay? So this is the account record. You go to any record in Salesforce and just copy the ID to get the record ID. So now we can play with the Visual Force page to display how whatever you see here, you can display it there. Okay, so if I flip back to trail, so let's not get off trail. And let's see, what do we want to display? So for example, <clears throat> I am going to copy my code here. Here, let's copy the whole thing. So we save some time and paste that. Oops, and I'm going to paste that whole thing and save that. So now we have name. And then this is the expression, right? Expression, and then the object name dot the field name. Before we even go there, you see this standard controller? We just added an engine. Let's just call it an engine, this, the account engine. We did not build this engine. It comes with Salesforce. So every single object you created in Salesforce or the standard object comes with an engine. You can just use the engine. If you want to make more advanced engine, you can. That's the power of Salesforce. You can make your own custom engine. Boom! That goes super fast like a rocket or whatever you want to do with the engine, right? You can build your own custom engine. But this comes with Salesforce. You don't have to build a standard engine. It comes. It's, it's an account standard controller. I call it an engine so you can um, understand better. So the name, this is just a text, right? And then you put the expression, the, the object name dot the field name, account phone, account industry, account annual revenue. So if I go back here to my example, this one, see? Oh, it's gone. No, I have to put my... ID, the ID is gone here, right? I'm gonna put my ID back. What is my ID there? Copy that guy. Put and ID, oh, it's there. I'm gonna click, boom, see? It's putting all the information there. Say you wanna add more. I wanna add account owner or website here. Website, do we have website? Here, we don't have website. If I copy this whole thing and then website, right? Account dot, I don't know the field name. It's probably website. Let's try that. You can always open the resource file, open a resource for the account object. And here, account dot obj, obj. And then you can see, um, I want to sort it by name and type W, it doesn't go. See website, right? So what else do we want to put there? We want to put some address. Let's do billing address. Billing address there. Do we have it already there? No. So website and then address. Okay, address. Curly bracket, exclamation point, account dot address oh no billing 
address okay you have to know the API name which you can see from the object here right oh what does it say oh yeah you have to break it down building street and then building city and then building you know there because address is a combination of street city state postal code or zip code and country and i'm going to flip back here to our visual force it keeps removing the the id so if that happens to you just keep going back and clicking on it see you have the street address you have the website and so on so you can keep adding information from a record whatever is available on the record you can display it but it's still a body i mean this it already have a spirit actually it already have an engine we put we put the engine here that's why it can pick information now it can display information right so if it's a body and then you you are a body right and then somebody asks you if you're just a body there is no spirit in you means you're dead you ask you what's your name it's just gonna say that the body is dead no spirit no engine no controller but there is a spirit inside your body and then somebody asks you what's your name oh my name is jimmy where are you from oh i'm living in canada but i'm from indonesia you know there is an engine in me or a spirit so i can i can display stuff or give you information otherwise it's just a dead body lying there the the engine is not there anymore okay let's go flip back here um okay we're having fun right this is fun i like it we st uh, started to develop some stuff um you can display fields from a related records as well so if we do account owner here owner dot name the, the name of the owner of the account owner so if i go boom account owner account dot the field name which is a lookup field dot name the field of the owner okay which which is a user a user a user object um if i flip back here i bet you the id is, is now gone again see you, you have to keep adding the id here and id or you can do the, that javascript thing so the id will stick on there id is there now the owner is jimmy tanzel so you can add related records all right so let's see what else do we have here tell me more so you can do this with any other object let's do one okay let's do one i want to do if i go back to my real salesforce page um let's see what we have here we have opportunities hmm let's play with opportunity okay and the detail okay so let's switch to opportunity all right so if i flip back here this is a bad example well i can create a new a new one let's let's do that file so i'm not gonna replace this and save it and the name is already count summary right so i'm gonna make a new one visual force page let's name it opportunity just op summary okay i'm gonna name that boom and i'm just gonna copy this thing for now copy this guy boom and then i'm gonna change the engine to opportunity not account anymore the engine the standard controller is now an opportunity and this is opportunity summary okay this is opportunity opportunity name and i want to take all of this out boom and i'm going to save this guy so op summary what do we have in the op so if i see here i want to see the amount i want to see the close date um i want to see the stage okay whatever you want to you want to display you can put it there so i want to see the i forgot already <laughs> amount close date and stage okay amount is 
curly bracket exclamation point opportunity dot amount right and it's it's case insensitive so you can type in caps um, close date so for example opportunity dot you can type close date it doesn't care it still works okay and then break again whatever a stage you can do that curly bracket exclamation point opportunity dot stage name why not stage is it's just how how the salesforce field is named it's stage name not just stage you can check it out yourself okay if i show you if i open a resource and i change this to opportunity.obj and i show you it's stage name not just stage see stage name so you have to know the api field name for the field you want to pull and now if i go here and i need to change this to up summary the page name right up summary and i have to grab the id for this particular opportunity so opportunity starts with 006 which is good um here and then opportunity id is that and hit enter boom opportunity summary now okay name burlington textile amount this amount you can format this with a currency with a function we can do that later on the close date is this you can format this date to look better as well and the stage is close one so that's how standard controller works right so you get the idea how standard controller works if i go back here basically you say standard controller is the opportunity object or any object even custom object you created and then this is all just uh, display stuff and this is how you ex uh, do your expression to display the field all right you can do calculation here okay you can do formatting if i want to do calculation times 1000 i don't know whatever boom it still works it's a math calculation and if i flip back here oh it stays good i'm gonna refresh see it has a whole lot more zero there so you can you can be creative and play around with your field um, just this is just grabbing the field and then you can you can uh, you can manipulate the value to display it so that's the basic displaying controller but you can save record as well maybe on the next trail this is just for displaying i don't see any button save button or edit right i bet you it's on the next trail so that's it for now i'm going to do the hands-on challenge on a separate video I'll see you on the next video. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor. Like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom